Okay, so I thought I'd do an update on Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, so my previous video, so WOR part five, uh, this is uh, exactly the same setup as that. So in that previous video, I showed you exactly how to install it and how to get it working and what adapters to use and so on. So I'm basically using everything the same as that. So I won't go through how that is. Uh, you can see that I get the lightning bolt at the time, uh, meaning there's not quite enough power, but it, I've left it on for hours and hours and it's and it's not struggled, it's been absolutely fine. Uh, so th I thought I'd go through um, a couple of things that um, have come up from, say, comments and things like that. So Marsan, who originally started all this um, it, on Twitter, there, this was the first time I was made aware of uh, Windows 10 on Raspberry Pi. Why do you have GPU underscore frequency equals 750 in your config text? That does nothing when you're using Windows as there are no drivers for GPU. So this version doesn't support uh, GPU at all. Uh, so I've removed that from my config.txt and I've also reduced the CPU speed to 2100 just to try and make it a little bit less strain on the system. Don't know if it's made a difference, but I figured it wouldn't make too much difference in speed. Um, I've installed the new Edge browser. The original Edge uh, browser, this is the Edge Chromium one, uh, built on Chromium. You can see the logo is different and I thought I'd change the splash screen to match it. Uh, the original Edge was really slow and now if I click on, uh, it tends to launch quicker, it tends to uh, switch through tabs quicker and load up pages and things quicker, but uh, it's still not quick. Uh, it's still, well, it's usually a bit quicker than this, but uh, I definitely find that there are times when I'm using this and I'm thinking, yeah, this is this is all right, this is, this is definitely getting there. And then other times, certain things take an absolute age. Um, but again, we know this, this is, this is early testing and, and you know, we kind of know to expect this. So if I click on Hot UK Deals, uh, just to show you how the page comes up, it, it tends to be doing everything, but just doing everything much slower because of obviously the lack of RAM and, and so on. But uh, you can see that the web browser, because I don't think I've shown the web browser up and running, but it is up and running. Uh, again, it's not, it's not ideal. Um, but it's just interesting to see, uh, oh, I clicked on that wrong. So BBC News UK, let's do that as well. So a couple of tabs open and you can see that it's, it's coping. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's not like using Linux on the Pi, but we don't expect that. So other things I've done, I kind of streamlined the operating system as much as I could by, uh, closing down programs at start up and things like that to try and help. But also uh, in my comments, Tony Baldwin uh, suggested a, an article, uh, pcerrorfix.com, and it was disabling lots of Windows 10 services. So I've done that as well to try and speed things up. Uh, let's go back to my nice desktop. You can see that I've been trying out some Steam games uh, with very little success. And part of the reason that I've had such little success with it really is that if I go into settings, so, and it might be worth getting task manager up actually. Uh, let's get task manager up at the same time as well. I haven't edited, edited any of those bits out. It's uh, that's as slow as it is. Uh, so performance. Let's get that right over the side because we kind of only need those numbers, don't we really? So you can see it's 2.10. Uh, you can see the CPU, the memory and so on. So so I was going to, uh, sorry, <laughs> I had to edit that because I, I lost my train of thought. I was going to show the uh, the resolution. So the desktop runs at 1920 by 1080 and there isn't, I couldn't find a way of changing this and I tried to update the drivers and play around with the drivers and all sorts of settings. I couldn't get anything to change it. And this is a bit of a problem with it only running on one gig of RAM. It'd be nice if it would run at 720. So that'd be a nice step. And certainly for some people are going to uh, want to run old Windows games on this uh, at some point. And so a lower resolution on the desktop would really help that. And it's really caused me a problem uh, because if I try various different games, uh, so for instance, Grand Theft Auto, Let's close that one down. I'll try and keep it as minimal as possible, but look at my memory look going up. 
really, really high as it's trying to, well, updating Steam and then it will try and launch the game. It's funny because, so Steam is working and it's working all right. I can click on the games and I can uh, install them and everything else. But then when you go to play them, the, the ones that do actually launch, and in fact, uh, the only ones that launch there, a Super Crate Box is the only one really that launches there. Uh, Crazy Taxi launches, actually flat out launches as well. Um, but again, it's running at 1080, and, it, and if I could run it at 640 by 480, still wouldn't be great, but it would it would at least give it a fighting chance. Uh, Crazy Taxi just gets to a certain point and then quits out. But it's this whole thing about it always being stuck at 1920 by 1080 that that's really hampering it. GTA on Windows 10 or GTA Vice City on Windows 10, I looked through the Steam forums and there was always an issue with 640 by 480. Um, th there's a mode where it comes up with and uh, I can't get past that. I've tried all the fixes but I think it's because this version of Windows 10 stubbornly won't go anywhere but 1920 by 1080 and so the games just don't accept it at all. So all this time I'm talking, Crazy Taxi is doing something uh, in the background if it is still. It doesn't look, there's nothing showing but uh, it is, oh there you go, that little window's come up. And it's weird because certain things don't feel that slow and then other things just just almost crawl to a halt. So I've been obviously putting the games on there and I left it for ages um, installing and then I go back and I'll, I'll start a game but I'll just leave it for a long amount of time uh, for it to, to get going. But it's it's obviously trying to do everything. So as it gets opt, it's, it's not that compatibility is an issue, but it's it's optimization is going to be the key. Uh, and when we get the graphics driver working and, and without having to plug all these different things in, I had a good tip from my comments and I'll try and find it and put it on the screen. But uh, someone else suggested, they said they've got a, a oh, there you go. GTA Vice City uh, cannot find 640 by 480 mode. Did I, I thought I was launching Crazy Taxi for some reason. But you can see that, you know, from a gaming point of view, that nothing really. I mean, I had some emulators in some of the others, but but only like very basic. Uh, so uh, Mega Drive, Master System, uh, ZX Spectrum. So things that you've been able to play on really, really old computers. So it is a lot slower than a very old like Windows 95 computer or 98 computer at this stage. Um, but if I launch, you can see I've put on here word and powerpoint i've got a couple of documents so if i click on this resume and we'll see how quick that launches uh, i didn't think it was too bad obviously having this task manager with this tiny amount of ram isn't going to help but people seem to really want to see the task manager and the performance and so on um, but uh Oh, it's good. See, I'm not. I don't usually do it with that. I haven't got anything else running, have I? No. Obviously, Steam's down there, and I've got that not to start on startup, so I could close that. So let's right-click on that and exit that. That'll free up some RAM. The SSDs definitely helped uh, from a speed point of view by a lot. Uh, because this is the full version, you know, when I click on the start bar, you'll see that everything is in there. Um, but I've I've turned off live tiles and I've, I've turned off various different effects and things like that. But you can see it's it's not particularly usable. If there was something you needed to access, uh, I suppose you could do it for that. And I think that's where a lot of people are uh, kind of looking at this with interest that, you know, they'll be able to use certain programs that they can't use on on other systems and they need Windows for. There you go, so it's come up. I'm an Office 365 subscriber. If I click on here, uh, you can see that I can move around, but not, not fast. So if I just put hello in there, I just typed out hello, and as you can see, it's just, just typing in. I've had a weird issue with the keyboard sometimes, and I don't know if this is because I haven't got enough power, but sometimes what will happen is a key will get stuck, so it will just keep typing out a letter, or it won't type, or it will miss out a word. So if I type in uh, Lee PSP video, 
well that works fine so it comes and goes and ag and again i've been doing other things haven't i so i haven't helped the system um and if i click on here lee so that's working it kind of like this is what i was saying before um let's go with youtuber not quite but uh oh there you go with two two views so i i do get some I, and that I deleted once and it took it out loads of times. That comes and goes. And again, I don't know if this is a power thing. So let's close that one down and just show our PowerPoint. There you go. So we won't bother saving that. And you can see that it even shutting down. It takes the time. But I, I, to be honest, I was amazed it installed and I was amazed it showed up and is working. I'm always the optimist. So PowerPoint. Let's see, that's going. I think I might, right, we've, we've seen Task Manager for a bit now. I think I'm going to shut that down because it kind of needs everything it can get at this stage. So while that's loading up, let's just tell you some of the things that's, that obviously it could do with happening. Uh, I did a list. So still not working. So the Ethernet port on the Pi the four USB sockets on the Pi, uh, Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi, and the uh, and also the GPU aren't working. And as I mentioned before, the resolution is stuck at 1080. So I'm getting over it by having a USB sound card, uh, a USB Ethernet adapter. In the comments, it was suggested to get a little Bluetooth adapter. That will give me. Uh, I can use Bluetooth to tether to my phone, was the suggestion. But I also thought about it, well that also gives me my Xbox One controller's Bluetooth, so I could have a controller, and that's only gonna take up one USB port, and it's, I'm guessing it's gonna use less power. So, uh, so that's an interesting way of doing it. And I guess with Bluetooth as well, that means I can Bluetooth to speakers. So Bluetooth's probably a good thing, and I don't think I think my son's got a little Bluetooth USB adapter. I must order one uh, because that, that might help. Because uh, as certain things get freed up and certain things get added, it can only be better. So let's have a look at PowerPoint. Let's click on that tile in the background. Oh, I don't know what's happened there. What's happened there? So I clicked on the tile and it all disappeared. So it's given me that title. Something's going on. Something weird's going on. Because it wasn't yesterday. Oh, there you go. So that, I don't know why that deleted. This is this weird uh, keyboard thing that I'm getting. Uh, so Raspberry Pi. Yeah, see, sometimes it comes and goes uh, with the keyboard. Um, it doesn't seem to affect the controller. When I had the controller plugged in, that seemed to work fine. Uh, so if I click to the other slide, click back to that slide, let's insert. Uh, pictures, this device. See, it comes and goes. Sometimes uh, certain things feel a little bit snappier uh, and then it slows down. I did find that if you took away the internet from it, it seemed to be overall quicker because I think even though I've turned off Windows updates and all sorts of things, uh, it, Windows still seems to like to try and do all sorts of things online. Yeah, see, this is slow, isn't it? So that's my my wallpaper that I downloaded just because I thought it looked nice. Insert. What's going to happen here then? How quick is that going to... Oh, yeah, that did it all right. That's the thing. Certain things seem to be... Oh, it's not. It didn't grab that, did it? So if I wait for it to change, maybe... Oh, it did something. So I move it. Yeah. So <laughs> again, it's not ideal. I suppose if you wanted to to print out a PowerPoint document that someone had sent you and you're not in a hurry and you could let it do it in the background, you could still use it for that sort of purpose. So let's come out of that and not save that. And what else did I want to cover? The last thing you probably saw it on the bottom uh, was Spotify. Oh, and I was going to show, so if I click on the start. You can see it's slow. Come on. It's going to do it. 
uh, there you go. So yeah, a lot of a lot of the apps are, st are still on here. I haven't, I haven't got rid of or deleted any, any of them. I, I guess as long as the services aren't running in the background, it's not going to make too much of a difference to the overall speed. Um, but there was something weird. If you click on that, it does something different now. Yeah, this is this I thought was different. So look, get the latest update. So this is a what's happening thing, weather, top news, today in history, top app. So this must be like recently launched things. It's got my uh, rewards balance points there. Then we've got apps, documents. Because I, I applied the, well, I think there's one more. No, I applied uh, as late an update as it would let me have. Um, and then I turned off the updates just just because obviously I don't want anything slowing this down. And the last thing I wanted to show was Spotify uh, because I'm sure that was working. Uh, I tried that last night, although I didn't have my sound card plugged in last night because I, you know, sometimes I plug in as little as possible when I'm doing a load of updates and things because just in case it helps the system. So I've clicked on Spotify. I'm guessing it's loading up. Sometimes. If it gets really slow, you have to press and hold the left mouse button. Um, so when I was installing some of the games on, on Steam, sometimes it, it didn't take it if you just tapped it. You had to press and hold. But um, while that's loading up, uh, just to sort of fill in the blank space, flat out loaded up and completely loaded up and even let me race, but it was running at 1920 by 1080 The graphics looked really good, but it was about two or three frames a second um, crazy taxi goes all the way through the setup screens and the resolution and stuff like that but then it stops and doesn't let you go any further bike dash said it was missing something motor racer all three of those didn't load it wanted to download someone had asked me about dot net uh, uh, whether or not it can be installed and when the Moto Racer collection was being installed by Steam it installed .NET uh, 2, 2.5 and 3.5 so that is on there uh, and that installed fine just the games don't work so let's go for my daily mix uh, I've only got a free Spotify account so if I hit play can I hit play now or have I already done that I think I've already done that because I've got I've got zero down the bottom here. Let's turn it up a little bit. As long as I don't pay too much of a track, I should be all right. Although I might get to the stage where I can't skip because it's gone too slow and then it will keep playing the track. So I'll cut that if that happens. So do I have to click on play? Maybe I do. Let's try it. So okay, again, I'll keep this in real time. There they go, so that's playing. Let's skip on. Skip again. See it skips? See it skips, it, once this is loaded in, the Spotify is usable on it, so you could leave that playing. You can skip tracks. Uh, again, it's slow, but it is working. So, you know, at least that's something. Anyway, I'll try and keep you updated on anything new that happens with it. I keep looking at the WR website and also uh, Marsan's sort of thread that's got all the updates and things on it. Uh, but if you see anything that I haven't reported in a video, please let me know. Um, especially if there's any drivers to get anything working that, that isn't working at the moment, I'd appreciate it. But thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe.